In this lesson, I will not change or write any code, but will explain you the theory behind unit testing or automated testing. One of the most common ways to write tests is actually divide any function into three phases, three sections, three parts, whatever you call them, and they are all with a letter in the beginning. So A, 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 you can call it a framework, which is arrange, act, assert. So in most cases, you should stick to this plan for every function in your test. Arrange, basically, add any data you need, add any configuration you need, basically build the scenario, prepare the scenario. Then act, which is usually calling some API, calling some function, calling some URL. So simulate the actual action of the user, like you would be behind the browser doing that exact thing. And then assert. And assert can be multiple asserts. So you could, for example, assert the status, assert don't see no products found, and also, for example, assert see the name of that product. So, for example, assert see that you do have product one here. So typically, there are multiple things for a range scenario. It could be none, actually, but it could be multiple. Then there's usually one sentence or one call for the action. And then there are multiple assertions. With multiple assertions, you shouldn't over push on the assertions because you may bump into testing different scenarios. So it should be sometimes a different test, different method for some case. So you wouldn't list all the possible things into one test. But generally, you should learn it kind of like a mantra of arrange, act and assert. And we will do that more and more in the further lessons.